Today I'm going to show you to put LEDs in any of your heated seat switches. So this includes any 2003 to 2007 classic only for the Silverados, Sierras, uh, Tahoes, Suburbans, Yukons, Yukon XL, the Denali variants of those, your Escalade, Escalade ESV, EXT, uh, Avalanche, and I believe the Hummer H2 uses some of these front ones. So to start here, we have the Escalade Platinum front seat ones here. This goes on the, the uh, front center console panel. These are the rear Platinum versions from 2004 to 6 only. And then we have the Platinum Edition uh, driver switch. So notice it doesn't have the heater button here, but rather on that other panel I just showed you. Then what you're probably most used to is this is on most trucks if they have an LT trim and this has your pedal adjust and your driver one, driver two. And we have on some of the uh, lesser option truck, this is the driver side, this is just for pedal adjust. And then this is the passenger side. This is pretty much the same on all years. Only one style of this. Obviously, there is none on the Platinum Edition. And then these are the rear seat ones for, I believe, 2003 to 6, uh, the Denali's. And I don't think they came on the Suburbans. And I believe these are the same for 02 and 01, but I'm not positive on that. I don't have anything to check. So... Let's go over what you're going to need. So for any of those switches, this is pretty much everything we're going to need. So obviously we're going to have to have a soldering iron. This is a station one. You can use any cheap soldering iron. Recommend one with a kind of chiseled chip tip like this. It's going to help a lot, but really anyone will do. You're going to want some form of solder wick or a solder sucker. One of the two, this will help us remove solder from the hole since all of these pins are through hole and we need to make sure the holes are clear before we put the new lights in. We'll need solder. I recommend leaded solder. It's, um, it works a lot better than unleaded, but make sure you wash your hands when you're done. And we're going to need some side cutters. Really, any cutters will do for trimming the LEDs. We're going to need the LEDs. These are 3 millimeter. Uh, 3 to 14 volt specifically for this application I will have a link down below they come in kits of 12 and that will be plenty to do pretty much any of these trucks the whole seat set I recommend a marker so we can mark polarities and that will help you keep track of things you're going to want q-tips Preferably to clean the flux off and some alcohol. Anything above 70% will work. I use 99. A little metal or plastic pry tool to actually get the switches open. And a pair of tweezers for removing some lights and installing new ones to keep your hands away from the soldering iron. And flux. This is the most important part. You're going to want a good no clean flux. And this will make soldering so much easier and make your results so much more professional. It's only a couple dollars, highly recommend it. And you're gonna want some way to hold all these boards when we take them apart. You can find just a standard helping hand set with just some clamps for just a couple dollars. I like this larger setup for all the boards that I work on. And let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with the driver side switch with the adjustable pedals and driver one, driver two. So to take this apart. Get your metal pry tool, and we're going to have three clips on either side. So we're going to pry in and away. Flip to the other side. And make sure you do this with the buttons facing down because they will come out when this comes apart. said these buttons will just I'll show you will fall right out so keep this face down then the board just pops out of the back casing like that now here we are we have on this particular one 
these will be the eight lights that we will be replacing. These are just the indicator lights. We'll be leaving those alone, those four yellow LEDs. So we're going to remove these button pads here. Take those right off. We're going to flip this over to the other side. And real quick here, actually, I'm going to show you the polarities here, an easy way to remember this. So uh, if you have one in your hand, it'll be a lot easier. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but each of these pads for the LEDs, there's going to be a square one and a circle one. All the square pads on every module I'm going to show you is going to be the negative, and the uh, circular pad is going to be the positive. So super easy to remember. And if you want to test these uh, with a tool battery or something that's 12 volts, you would just go here to the light blue wire. Is going to be your negative? and the brown wire here is going to be your positive. So you can either connect something right here or just trace the wires to the end connector and put a, uh, a wire in there because this is what connects to your uh, door module. So there's no actual plug-in that we can get to test that. So let's lock this in the holder here. And what I'm going to do is show you the soldering process for one of these since it's identical on every single one on the board. And I'll get them all installed and show you what it looks like lit up. Lock it in there. Take a little bit of flux. And there we go. So now we're going to pull the LED as we desolder it here from this side. and wiggle it around a little bit and you can do this with tweezers as well because it will get hot after a few seconds because you have to kind of really yank on them and sometimes I'll show you like this the actual LED comes out of the pins and that's totally fine so now on the other side what we'll do so I can show you here visually the pins are out here. We'll pull on these with tweezers as we desolder them. There we go. Pin came right out. And pin came right out. You can see there. So now we need to clear those holes of the solder. So I'm going to be using the solder sucker here. And this is where we could either use that or the solder wick. It's best to have both because sometimes one isn't great for the application. So what we're going to do is go to the very edge of the pad with our iron. Wait till it turns liquid. You'll see the color change and immediately go over it. Like that. Didn't quite get it fast enough. Trying to keep it in view for the camera here. Try the other hole first. Yeah, so this is one of the situations where I would go to the braid instead. There we go, got one hole. And got the other one and you'll notice here to get in those little holes easier I will cut the braid at an angle here and remember every time it fills up with the solder you're gonna have to cut it so that way it can pull more up easier so now the holes are clear super easy way of doing this like I said I even have it written down here the square pad is gonna be our negative and the circular pads are positive that's gonna correlate on our LED here that the positive is our longer leg and the negative is our shorter leg. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there. And I like to put it in first instead of cutting it. So that way we have plenty of room to work with. Hold it with one finger. Get some solder on your iron. One leg down. And the other one. Good to go. Then we're going to 
Cut these off as close to the bottom as we can with our side cutters. Because if you leave these long at all, this will interfere with the, uh, the back half of the board. So now that we've got that, take our alcohol and our Q-tip. Clean that up as best as we can. Now the no clean flux is not going to corrode the board, but you just don't want sticky flux everywhere. So now that is done, that is going to be the identical process on the, re the remaining seven here. So you can see there, I've got it flush to the board. And I'm gonna put these in and then show you what it looks like lit up. So now I've got all eight LEDs in. Let me show you here. All eight are in, clean the flux off the board. All of them are mounted as flush to the board as you can get. And now let's put the button pads back on. Push down hard right where those two holes are and they'll go on a lot easier. Sometimes I use tweezers like that. There we go. And the last one. There we go, they are all on. So now what we're gonna wanna do is test this. So in your case, you would probably just throw this back into the truck, all the Pilates are cracked. But if you wanna bench test this, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna have two wires back here. So the light blue one here, the last one I have marked is your negative and three pins in this dark brown wire is gonna be your positive. So you can either attach something right here, uh, a nine volt battery. Um, I've used a 12 volt uh, tool battery like this, like a Milwaukee something in the past. Don't use anything 18 volts or just a simple nine volt battery will work. Or you can uh, put a wire into the pin up here. So if we follow the pin out here, the dark brown wire is gonna be the second one here and it would be This one right here. And the light blue wire is going to be three in from the right on the bottom side of the connector here. And there you go. We have it lit up here. So I'll turn the lights off. Very bright, and remember these do still dim with your headlight dimmer switch, so if this is too bright for you, you can always dim it down to whatever you like. So, let me unhook this real quick. And we're gonna put this back in the case here. This side down. Fold the wires back down. And now, just like we took it apart, we're gonna wanna make sure the buttons are facing down so they don't pop out. Clip it in there. Flip it over, make sure all your buttons still work. And let me sit this here. And I will plug this back in to show you. There we go. So now let's move on to the next one. So on this we have the other two driver side ones. We have the uh, adjust the power adjust pedals. This is the inside of that. Opening procedure is exactly the same as the first one we did. This one's going to have three lights that we have to change. And exact same procedure you'll see here on the back. We've got the square and circle pads. The square pad is going to be your negative. So exact same process, super easy. This is the platinum version. Show you this, this one will use six LEDs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing, you've got the, the square and the circle pads. And on these as well, same wires, you're gonna have your light blue and brown on both of these. 
and your light blue is your negative for testing and your brown is positive for testing. And then here is the passenger side. This one is going to have two LEDs and same exact thing here. It's out of the back facing. Two LEDs, square and circle pads. And for testing here, you've got the light blue wire and the brown wire on the end here. Let me see if I can separate these so you can see. Light blue is going to be your third one in, and then the brown is the one back here. Same exact procedure, so let's move on to the other platinum ones. Here are your 2004 to 2006 Escalade Platinum, and the platinum was only the ESV long wheel base. So these are the two rear heaters, and this is your front heaters. So let's open up the front one first here. And just pry in on the housing around all sides, and, and it really comes up super easy. So now when we pull this apart, you'll see there is a wire attaching between both of them. And just like the ones we did before, all the buttons can come out. Make sure this is face down. Now pull that out, and this is your light board. And we can also separate this from the back here. So there's these four plastic clips. One right here, here and here and here. So if we either use our fingers and pry against them with the board and get that out of there. That comes out. Should be gentle with those wires. It's a back housing. So now we have a better view here. So for just the lighting on this, it's these four LEDs here. So now you have a red LED and a blue LED. This is for the heat option and this is for the cooling. Usually I will just leave these alone. They're, I really haven't seen them burn out and you want a blue one in there for the blue cooling option and red for the, the red heating. But they're the exact same uh, as these to change out if you want these whatever color. But just keep in mind that there is going to be... Let me pull these out. The actual filter behind this is going to be colored. So it really won't matter what other color you leave in there. So I just leave them the same. So I'll take this button pad off for you here. And this is going to be the exact same soldering procedure as the first ones. But I just want to show you up close here. These four. Then on the back, let me mark these for you. It's going to be this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, like I said, so we have the square and the circle pads. Your square pad is negative and your circle pad is positive. And you're gonna put these in identical to the ones we did before. So now let's open up one of the rear switches. Two clips on each side. Pry in and away. Oh, too far. Same thing, buttons down so they don't fall out. And this, again, we have a wire here we have to be careful of. So if you look on this side, there's going to be three black plastic clips. And you'll see the, the little clip portions here are going to be sticking out onto the board. So if we depress those as we pull this out, this will come right out of here. There we go. So the, uh, the other side of this is going to be identical, just mirrored. And we can also pull this half out of the bottom with these three clips here. One, two, and three. So it's easier to solder on. There we 
There we go. So here again, like I was saying about the fronts, we have your heating LED, your cooling LED, and then the two uh, light LEDs for the actual seat switches. So all I would recommend replacing is these two. And I've marked it already on this, so if you wanted to replace them, same thing as before, just the two lights are the ones up here. Square is negative and circle is positive. The exact same soldering procedure. So, super easy. So now we're gonna move to the Denali only style, I believe, of the rear switches. So these ones are on all 03 to 06s that are optioned with rear heated seats that are not an Escalade Platinum. So to take these apart, these are both going to be identical inside. So I'll show you this one. So we're going to have four clips, two here, two here. Get your pry tool in here, pry away. The other side comes right out. And this, uh, this button here can come free. So just take note of that. Here's our board. We can take it out of the back housing here. Just gently pry up on either side. Just kind of shimmy it off. Now I have already marked this for you. So we have our positive pin is this one and our negative this one. And that's going to correlate to this side of this bulb. It's going to be your positive. So this one is different than all the other ones. As you see on the back, there is no square or circle hole. Pad, so I'm going to show you this. Put this in our holder. Flux on these two pins. And we're going to pull away as we desolder this. out of there. Now we're going to go to our solder sucker or wick to get these holes clear. Positive in. There we go. Perfect. And so for this one, it does not need to be all the way flush to the board. It doesn't really matter. So you can, anywhere below this button is fine. Got to sit in there. Solder these legs in. legs close as we can and remember to clean the flux off of that I'm going to test this for you real quick first so we're going to take our positive to this pin and there we go so let me turn the light off for you real quick there we go. That should be pretty much every heated seat button you can find in these vehicles. And if for some reason you came across one that I didn't have here, let me know and I can try to help you figure it out. I'm going to have polarity charts to most things, probably not these, listed in the description because this is just a, as simple as, as square is negative and circles positive. But the rear ones I will have and link to anything from climate controls, clusters, stuff like that. And anything else you want to see, just let me know. And I really hope this helped you. Thanks for watching.